Okay, here we got the hand wheel off the brown sharp, and you can kind of see I've, uh, I don't know, I'm gluing it back together with some JB Weld. Hopefully that'll be strong enough for uh, to make a pattern back out of it. it. Cleaned up really nice. It's kind of almost a shame not to just use it again, but uh, we can make it look a lot better than what it is. Yeah, I used a little, I don't know if you can see it on here, but some scotch tape just to kind of hold some of the parts together. And then I set it this way here, and the weight of it actually kind of held all the pieces together. I'm hoping I get good alignment on all this. And once I clean it up, you won't be able to see the parts where it was broken out. And we've got a little bit more work to do. We're going to have to plug this hole and this over here. Probably leave a little divot so I can find where to drill when we make the new one. I'll have to fill the backside too. And I got another one here yet that I can get all my measurements and everything off of. I'll be careful with this. It's still not fully cured, but uh, I'm using this quick set one. And uh yeah, free plug for JB Weld, I guess. But uh we'll see what it's rated at here. Oh 2400 pounds. That should be more than enough to hold some sand away when they pack it together. Well, oh, anyway, there's, there's one step right there.